there, this is JD. Uh, welcome to my channel. A shout out to Jim, who I had coffee with this morning. Um, and this is a little problem I had to solve. This little pocket watch you're looking at there. Uh, the time wouldn't set on the pocket watch and the, um, the basically when you're winding the uh, mainspring up, um, it would rattle. So the keyless mechanism was gone, broken. I'm just tucking some stuff in here. Just wasn't working properly. I wonder if I can illustrate this. Let me just try to describe it quickly. All right, I probably will draw this incorrectly, but so here's the crown, like that. Then the stem goes in, fattens up a bit. Stem goes in, fattens up a bit, like that. And then there's, you can draw this properly here. And then it, then it goes down again, and then it turns into a square. I need a new pen turns into a square like that and then the watch movement goes in like this there's the watch movement like that and then there's a basically the keyless mechanism when you push the stem this way like that it snaps into place because on the outside here you've got the case coming around like uh, like that I'll say and there's a flare out like this underneath the crown and then there's inside here um, is a sleeve and this sleeve is also there's a um, threading on the sleeve so if you rotate the sleeve in this direction it tightens the sleeve it actually moves the sleeve this way and if you turn it the other way it moves the sleeve this way so so if your if your stem is not at the right level meaning that when you snap that thing the, the, on a pocket watch down, closed, it's supposed to move the keyless mechanism to engage the wheels that allow you to wind the watch. So I'm not going to draw all that stuff, but it allows you to wind the watch. Um, and this is the pocket watch in question, so when this, the crown is all the way down, you should be able to wind the watch, like that, right? And when you pull the crown out, like this, like that, then you should be able to set the watch. And this is now working perfectly because I fixed it. So what I did was I actually was farting around with it and tried to put in the movement a little plug that would extend the stem to solve my problem, but I found that that didn't work. I made a, t a bunch of videos on that and basically I'm scrapping it. So then I went to, uh, you know, to take a sleeve wrench, go in there, and adjust it one way and the other way until this was the exact right depth for this pocket watch. So the sleeve wrench technique did work. There's my crown. Look at that beautiful crown. Sleeve wrench technique did work. So that's what this video is, is showing the adjustment of the sleeve wrench. Or should I see the adjustment of the sleeve by the sleeve wrench? So just a quick note to file. Uh, that this is the plug that I made, the world's smallest plug, which I made that was square. Can I get this in camera? There we go. I actually filed it down square. This took me such a long time to make this little tiny plug, but at the end of the day, it wasn't the right depth to actually adjust the, uh, the watch properly so that it would wind in. I could set the time. So I gave up on that whole plug or ordeal. So enjoy the video. It didn't work. I should have done the first thing I did do was unscrew that crown and adjust that sleeve so that the actual um, so that the stem would be at the right depth for um, winding and for setting the watch. So enjoy the video. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm JD. Have fun. All right, that little piece of metal is now out again. There it is there. And it's so small. I thought it would work, but it didn't work. So I'm going to go ahead and and try to adjust this stem and I said to adjust the crown but I want to adjust the stem and to do that let me get rid of this little tiny piece of metal too put that over there for future thoughts so the idea was really good but it didn't work so there's so much for the idea of being good right so so I think I just have to grab this here on the end and I gotta twist the crown off which is it usually glued in nicely. I'm just going to shut this down here like that. And there's only, this is the only way to remove the crown, by the way. There's no other way. 
I'm just going to try to get a good grip on the stem and then turn that crown see if I can get that off <sighs> Fuck, is that ever tight holy Jesus I may have a problem getting the crown off all right I just heaved on it for a second you don't want to break the stem eh so and now I think the crown will come out there's the crown there and there is the stem so that looks like it's effed up a bit so that wasn't me who did that but it looks like in the past this thing has been mangled which would cause you to not be able to get to the adjustment part of the crown right when it goes over the top it looks fine eh? but when I took this out it looks pretty buggered because this thing here this piece of metal here it's kind of in the way so I need to pick that out and maybe flatten it a bit I may need to get some uh, finer needle nose pliers here because this is a bit mangled folks which means it might have somebody might have put the wrong crown in here crown stem in here because I want to get behind here and then turn that ratchet ever so slightly to move that crown around and I'm not sure if I can get in there without this metal piece of metal getting out of the way so I'll work on that for a second but you see how that's mangled there so this is for Wally so whoever did work on this watch before effed it up so if you can see right here there was a little bit of an opening there so I think people just didn't do a good job on the watch because there's the um, there's the crown mechanism there and you want to take that sleeve and move it down just a bit right so the crown sits in nicely in the stem so let me see, I gotta get my setters here all right I got a couple of sleeve wrenches here so the thing is fitting the right sleeve wrench into that sleeve and seeing if that will actually um, grab that sleeve and turn it so you got a bunch of different options here you got to make sure it goes over the stem and also inside the sleeve so it's a uh, that ain't the one could be a bigger one or a smaller one I'm not sure I may have to pop the stem out to do that so you can pop the stem out but then you got to pop it back in again I'm looking at these sleeve wrenches they all seem to be pretty big so that one there is fitting but I don't know if it'll fit into the sleeve itself it's lining up the, the sleeve itself and will this turn that's the question I'm just gonna look at where it is it's kind of lined up with the pendant right now I don't like this friggin piece of metal here just kind of sucks at this like I said whoever worked on this watch before did a shitty job that might be okay like that and then I think it was the biggest sleeve that went in there yeah this one here so I think this one here um, and I'm going to look at the edge there to see where the gap is see the gaps in the sleeve there um, let me point at that for you just so you can see there's a gap right there so I'm going to look at that gap and I'm going to look at where it goes and see if this works because I can I'm looking down to see if that it looks like it fits so if I turn it like that it doesn't look like it moves at all put my other sleeve wrench out and see if this one works see if this one works too big too small just the size of Montreal see that's too big that's too small that's too stupid that is not right again like I said I may have to this one might work this isn't oh look at that that kind of tucks in so
Did I get a turn on that at all? I did actually. There's the turn on that. And now what I'll do is I'm going to put the crown in here again for a second. This is a frigged up crown, man. I don't like the way that the material is grabbing that crown. It's sucking badly. It's like when you screw it in, it just it grabs this material and just it's terrible. I wonder if I could just shave that material off the, uh, the top there, whether that will make a difference because it's got to tuck into the crown. If it tucks in too much, basically it's not going to work properly. Let me look at the crown again and I'll do some work on the inside of this thing here and see this. Make sure there's no nothing stupid going on in here. It looks like there's crown hairs from spiders from a thousand years ago. Crown fur. What's it fur? And I got a lot of other crowns that might be might work perfectly, but it's this case that kind of sucks. It's an old case and and just peeling off some of these this fur that's in there and I probably could grab it with Rodico it might be the best way of doing it so but this is a, quite the adventure now I tried making that little stem extender I may not even put the video in there for that because it would it didn't work so the proper way of doing it is what I'm doing right now, which is which is getting the um, uh, extending that crown. But as you can see, the the watch in the end is mangled. So, and not by me. Just point. Just a note. Note to file. I didn't mangle that. So, you folks can just forget thinking it was me. I'm gonna let gravity help me here with this. Alright, so that's not too bad. Now if I can if I'm lucky enough to screw this in, the question is, will it uh, will it actually work? So there I push that out a bit. I may have turned this too much though. I, that's what I'm worried about. I may turn it back just a tad. Just a tad, because I turned it more than one turn. So if I turn it back like that is that going to be good enough let me try this out here may have to flatten this metal because buddy had the metal flattened before to get the ground on so i'm having my suspicions against being able to get it on the way it is like this without shaving off some metal. I think I may shave off some of that rough stuff. There, I shaved off a bit of metal off the top of this because it was just stupid. It was getting in the way and it couldn't, the crown wasn't sitting in properly with this metal there. So I'm gonna see if I can screw this in now. Which I can. And then you just have to hold the stem ever so lightly like that and turn the crown in like that so the crown is now in position now that's position one and then if i can snap that back that's position two and i'm going to just grab this stem again just a little bit here just to make sure yeah that crown's in good now the question is, will the watch work? And if it doesn't, I gotta have a plan D or E or F or something, right? I'm not sure what to do. Let me just turn this watch around nice and easy. Don't touch anything, it's still ticking beautifully. I'm very proud of the repair on the watch. So that was a good job. And I gotta see if this actually sits in there nicely now. 
Okay, drop that in. Make sure you get the crown in good contact with that and then drop in the movement. And I'm going to see if this doesn't seem to be engaging properly, which means it has to go out more. Oh, it's got a bit of engagement there. So does that mean, I think i got to turn that, and is it going to wind? Just press that in. Yep, it's winding. Oh, I may have, oh, i gotta, I got to just take that stem out and just, just out a bit more. Uh, just a tad more, and I may have the side. So Problem solved. Just drop this out nice and easy. Easy does it. Easy does it. I can put it on my mat. So now what I got to do is unscrew the crown again. Get a play by play for me. Unscrew the crown. And then get that sleeve wrench in there. That's called the sleeve wrench, by the way. And I want to just turn that sleeve wrench. A bit so if I turn it just counterclockwise and watch what I'm doing okay is that gonna do it that might do it right there it's such a finicky thing to do I'm telling you I'm gonna want to tell you finicky as heck so I'm screwing the crown in I'm just holding the uh, stem with my finger and then I'll just grab my wrench here and hold the stem with the wrench give it a little bit more of a grip and it's all the way in now and I'm gonna put the movement in again and I want everybody to pray with me okay as I do this throw the movement in tilt it back like so and then the question is I gotta push this in or pull it out. I can't remember. I think I gotta pull it out. Oh, right now it's oh there we go. So that's in the winding part. So that works. That seems to wind nicely. Just try that again. Make sure I don't have any gear grinding. So that winds and goes back. No problem. And now I pull it out. Does it set the hands? Nope. What's going on? So it's got to go out a bit more. Nah. Got to go out a bit more. What did I do? It's winding, and then when I pull it back. It's not setting yet, so I've got to pull it out again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Giving you the play by play here, so this is like extremely painful, right? I'm hoping it's as painful for you as it is for me, so I'm going to take this, the crown off. Can I do that holding with my fingers? I don't think so. That's in pretty good. So I gotta move it out a bit more, which means I take the, this thing here, thing of a jobby doohickey, and I gotta pull it back a bit more. Back or forward? What's the scoop here? I think it's gotta go back. Half a turn, or is that too much? Let me just do a little more. I'm looking inside the hole here to make sure I don't do it too much. Maybe there. Maybe there. What do you think? I could grab a pin vise and try it out, eh? So that's there. Put the crown back in. I know you guys are getting sick of watching this, but too bad. So sad. Put the crown back in. 
Tighten that up. Whoa. And see, I know that if I put my, if I use my bench key on this, right, it turns. So you want it to be just, just right. So it still, it does that with uh, the adjustment needed. So this is a fine tuning. Just getting it to catch here and then flip it over. And then I just, a little praying, I think, is what I'm going to do here. And it's moving, which is nice. You know, when I put it all the way in, is it still going to move? Nope. Damn. Oh, Jesus. Got to come back. Oh, see, it's just barely touching here. So that mechanism needs to be able to move and let go. So it's just finicky as hell. Finicky as hell. It's not as finicky as heck because I'm getting tired of doing this. So it's finicky as hell. But I'm just going to keep at it until I get it right. Take the crown out, get the bench key, drop the vise on the floor, <laughs> turn this thing again. Like that. So we've backed it off again, and I'm not sure whether that's going to work again. Work or not. There's no other way of doing this, by the way. You just keep working at it until it gets, until it works, until it actually works. So I'm tightening this, tighten the crown. Like that. That still goes in and out, maybe. Yep. It's got to go in and out, or you're screwed. So, and I got to make sure it still winds. So it's kind of very, it's ridiculously finicky. I'm not sure if I describe the finickiness properly, but oh my God. Oh, so that's working now. So I got that done. Now the question is when I push this in, will I be able to wind the watch? Seems like it's winding. I think the mainspring slipping or something. Yeah, I got a mainspring slipping problem. But this is working perfectly right now. Turn that. Sets the time. Push it in. I'm not sure if the owner wants cares that the mainspring is slipping a bit. But I may have to fix that. So that works. There we go. The mainspring slipping is a matter of I got to disassemble the top part and do rehook it, so it's going to be a bit more work again. So that's it for the video for today. That's how to adjust the uh, crown. Just put that, put this on the back so I don't screw up the movement. And I got to deal with that mainspring because I think it is slipping, which is not a good thing. So this watch is not done yet. Not done until that mainspring problem gets solved. I think maybe it's not, the hook is not in or something, right? Because I can, I'm winding it like this, and it seems like it's winding nicely. And I can feel the mainspring just slipping just a bit. It's a big mainspring in there. It's got a hook on the side. So I'm just going to let this watch run out, and then I'll deal with the mainspring later. So, so there you go. That's how you set the uh, crown. See if it still works. Pull the crown out set the time, push the crown back in, and is able to wind. So there you go. It works. Woohoo! I'm going to publish this so you can see all the trials and tribulations of doing that. <laughs>